Mm. If you think all music streamers sound the same, you know, when you use them with, especially when you use them with an external DAC, well, think again. Today, I'm going to break down the real reasons why they don't and why some streamers make your system really shine while others just kind of leave it flat sounding. Hey everyone, I'm Bruce Naylor and welcome back to Desktop Hi-Fi where we explore the gear that makes music personal again. And today we're talking about something most audiophiles eventually wonder. Why do music streamers sound different even when you bypass their internal DACs? Well, let's go ahead and break it down. You know, the myth that bits are just bits. Well, there's a popular saying in the digital world. It's just bits, you know, ones and zeros. And the idea that a streamer is only sending data to your DAC, so it shouldn't affect the sound quality, right? Well, in theory, yes. But in the real world, well, especially if you have a revealing hi-fi setup, things like clocking, power supply, network stability, noise, they all matter. And that's where the differences begin to creep in. Many streamers rely on internal clocks, you know, to time the digital signal sent to your DAC. So if that clock is noisy or not stable, it introduces a thing called jitter, or it's your timing error set your DAC may not fully correct. Better streamers often have low jitter clocks, or they let the DAC handle clocking more accurately via uh, asynchronous USB or I2S. Cheap streamers, well, they dump the data with maybe a little regard to the timing. And, well, it can show up as kind of a smearing or loss of detail in the music. Noise is a huge factor as well. Even though the data is digital, the electrical environment around your streamer, well, that matters. See, a noisy switching power supply can introduce RF interference that bleeds into your DAC via USB or coax. Now, high-end streamers, well, they use linear power supplies ground isolation or filtering to reduce this so that cleaner signal equals better sound especially in the mid-range and in spatial cues not all digital outputs are equal usb coax toslink aes i2s they all behave differently so some streamers have kind of poorly implemented usb ports that dump noisy 5 volt power into your DAC. Others offer a clean coax with galvanic isolation. In I2S, when done right, it can sound phenomenal, but requires compatibility between gear. You know, what's under the hood matters as well. Streamers run on software, and some are built on lightweight, real-time operating system, and others are just bloated Android builds with noise everywhere. So a well-coded operating system with low latency, low processing overhead can lead to a cleaner digital signal path. And that's why something like a Pi 2 design, uh, Mercury, Lumen, or Lindemann can sound better than a generic Wi-Fi streamer. Your DAC, your amp, and speakers all play a role in a revealing system, and differences between streamers become more audible. Listen, if you've ever swapped a noisy laptop, for example, with a real true streamer, you should have noticed an immediate change and that would not be a placebo. That's just called synergy. Do all streamers sound the same? No. And the ones that sound better? Well, they usually earn it through better design, better clocks, cleaner power, and lower noise. If you're investing in a quality DAC, make sure your streamer is not holding you back. So, question, have you heard a difference between streamers? Drop your thoughts below, you know, like, subscribe, and share if you're serious about your hi-fi journey. And thanks for watching Desktop Hi-Fi, where it's not just bits, it's the experience. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.